this fly that we're going to tie is the brass ass and I am starting off with a size 10 scud hook and to that I'm going to start to add 70 black and just to start to make my wraps on there you can add additional lead to the thorax if you want to get this fly started but I think that with the uh, the copper the medium copper that we're going to add on to it this is going to be be a, a heavy enough fly and slim enough profile to really get you down. So as mentioned, I'm going to add in a medium copper wire to this, and I like to tie in my wire-bodied flies using a bobbin. I just feel like it gives me a little bit more control uh, than if I was working with a segment. Plus, there's not as much waste. I know exactly how much I'm going to use. And then the important piece to this is just following the contour of the hook all the way down making sure that your copper wire falls right in line with with that shape of the hook. Any deviation from that is, is going to be seen when you start to wrap the body up. So spend a little bit of extra time making sure that that is as smooth as it can be and you'll be much happier with with the results when you start to wrap that body. So I'm just tightening everything up here and then I'm going to whip finish to start just to get that out of the way remove that not a necessary step but it just gives me a little bit more freedom to kind of work and wrap up here so starting at the base of the hook I'm just going to start making my nice tight wraps all the way up and it's important to note when you have your wire on a bobbin that you want to change up this point every so often as you as you make your turns. The reason being is that it's going to eventually start to weaken the wire at that pivot point. So just make sure that you let some more wire out every couple of turns just so that it doesn't break off early on you. And I'll take it to about there. Now I can go ahead and reattach my my thread. And again, one of the nice things about having it on a bobbin, I can just let it go and it's just going to sit there. And when I tie this off, I'll just lift it up. Put a couple of nice tight wraps around that. And then I can helicopter that off save the scissors and again minimal minimal waste now the next piece that I want to add in is this gold and I use uh, holographic tinsel and these are going to be for the sides of the fly so I'll just cut off a section here tie in one side I'm going to take it back just slightly over my copper. I like to bring the thorax to about the tip of the hook there. So once I'm pleased that that's secure, cut it off and I'll add it to the other side. And do the same, same wraps back. Just make sure I'm lined up properly there. Now to save yourself some thread, you can you can tie the rest on with with the thread that you have. Or I'm going to tie in a couple of strands of floss. This is just going to help me build up that thorax more quickly and save save me some thread. So I'm going to take three strands of floss here. I found that if you wet the floss binds them together so they're not so scraggly on the ends so I'll tie that in all the way back and I'm just going to readjust my hook just to give me a steeper angle so that my thread doesn't slide off and then I'll just take nice even turns of this floss, just building up that, 
that thorax. pleased with it, just bring it all the way to the top, secure it with a wrap or two on top, go back, and then I can just trim off that excess. From there then I just fold it over my gold holographic tinsel, put a couple wraps in to secure each side. Give it a rotate, make sure I have them just the way I want them. And I can come back over and tie off the top. I'll whip finish the head. Just a couple of whip finishes here. We're going to be coating this so you don't have to be too, too diligent about making sure that you've got half dozen whip finishes in there. So then once I have that, the final step of the fly is just to coat it. And I use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. I'm going to coat the entire, the entire fly with this just to give me that nice epoxied look. And then I'll let that dry, and it's good to go. And that is the brass ass.